copy of the Stevens 44 and a half, calibered in 4590, with a vernier tang sight made by Kermit Hoax, which is available at www.kermittools.com. We're, we've also got a Steven C. Baldwin sight mounted on the front. And Dad, how far have you shot this rifle? Uh, 1,128 yards at the Tony Mexico at the uh, Buffalo target they have on the mountain. So what does that translate into with uh, miles? Do the math. Do the math. assimilated cartridge with a hose on it and use your breath to moisten the fouling in the chamber. about the 4590 cartridge. This is a Winchester cartridge with Winchester Magnum primer with 71 grains of uh, black powder with a Walters wad on top with a 560 grain Creedmoor bullet. Okay, let's see what that equates to as far as putting the lead back into the harmonica. Yeah, that's a lot more damage than the 383 did, that's for sure. Let's see if it'll still play. <laughs> I don't think I can get a full octave out of this.
started that time, the buffalo became decimated, the herds were thinner, hunters found they had to shift further and further each time. So the 4590 and 45110 were developed for that. You hear a lot of people speak of the 45120. It was a cartridge that never was. It was never mass produced for the public. It was experimental only. Shortly after that time, a sharps company went out of business. This is a 560 grain Creedmoor bullet. caliber bullet by any means.